Hi everyone, so today we're looking at question 2 from tutorial sheet 3. Yeah, so those that have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly do so. So that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be uh, posting. Click on the button which says subscribe. So the first, the question that we're looking at today is uh, based on uh, sketching the graphs of quadratic functions in absolute value symbols. So the first thing that you need to know is you first have to either factorize this if you cannot factorize that then use completing the square method so to solve this equation here we first have to complete its square there so when, if you've been told to complete the square of that question there this is what is going to happen so it's going to be like this so you factor out the two there then you're going to remain with x squared minus 2x plus 5 like that oh sorry let me do this this is supposed to be this 5 is supposed to be outside the 5 is supposed to be outside so after doing that you now complete the square in the bracket there now how do you complete the square there so we are going to write the, the open and square brackets like that and then you say x and then you say you get this same sign which is a minus then find half of two half of two will be okay let me say plus and then half of two half of negative two will be negative one so i'm going to write it like this i wanted to skip some steps but let me just uh, follow the steps properly and then we have negative one there so you repeat this same negative one then you do this plus five if you want to can also include negative two x there's no problem with that but it's still taking you to the same answer so here you complete the square so you complete the square of this you are going to have your x there then minus one then you square it then you have your minus Negative one squared to give you negative one squared to give you positive one. Then you say plus five. Then you say this is going to be equal to when you multiply two times this in the brackets, this is what you're going to get. Sorry. Minus one squared and then minus two. Then you write your positive five outside. So this is going to be equal to So this is going to be positive 3. So basically if you want to find now the turning point for this uh, quadratic equation for this curve we are sketching the turning point is simply found by you equate what is in the brackets there you equate it to zero and then find the value of x so when you find the value of x there you get your value of x to be one when you equate this to zero and then find make x the subject then the value of y you just get that three there so one comma three is the turning point yeah so after finding the turning point you can also find the line of axis and everything so the line of axis is just you just take this you just get this x uh, this same x minus 1, you get it to 0. x minus 1 is equal to 0. So meaning your line of axis is just the same, it's just equal to uh, positive 1. And then you find the y and the x intercept. So to find the y intercept, y intercept is just this number here, which is positive 5. Uh, yeah, this is positive 5. That's the y intercept. How did, how did I find that positive 5? You just put where there is x in this uh, quadratic equation wherever there is x put a zero in other ways or in other terms you can say finding f of zero and then you move on to the to, to finding the the x and the y intercept how do you find the x and the y intercept you simply equate this expression to zero so you can try it uh, equate this to zero and you are going to discover to say uh, this but it's not always for this question that's a, that's the reason why i wanted to skip it but for this question uh it does not meet the x-axis why because uh it has no 
real roots. This question has no real roots. How did I know? Use the discriminant b squared is equal to negative, I mean b squared is equal to 4ac or b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero and then find the, I mean is equal to discriminant and then find it, find the value of that and then you check if it's going to be greater than zero or less than zero or equal to zero but for this question when you find the discriminant you discover that it's going to be less than zero which implies that it has no roots it has no real roots, meaning does not meet the x-axis. So we quickly move on to sketching the graph. So when you look at the value of A there in front, it's positive, meaning it's a minimum. It has a minimum value. The turning point is 1, 3. 1, 3. So say this is my 1, this is my 3. And then we are saying it's a minimum, it has a minimum value. So, and then it's, it's crossing the y-axis at 5. So it has a minimum value, this is how it's going to come out like. And then this is my 5 there. Alright, so basically this is how it's going to come out. And th this is the reason why I wanted to skip it, it's very simple. So quickly move on to the next question. So our next question is this one. So this one at least the way it is is straightforward. Uh, if you want to find the x intercepts, the x intercepts you just find them by equating uh, what's this by equating the quadratic equation to zero because we know to say in the x axis the value of y is equal to zero. So meaning you just have to put a zero there and then solve the quadratic equation. So after doing that you discover that you're going to find your x values to be equal to one of your x values will be uh, uh, one of your x values will be negative 1 and then the other x value is just going to be equal to m one. going to be equal to positive 2 yeah so this is what you are going to have yeah, so this is what we're going to have as your x intercepts then to find the y intercept you need to multiply this yeah, you need to simplify this expression how do you simplify that you're going to have your x your negative x squared there so x times x you get negative x squared x times 2 you get uh, positive 2 positive 2 x then 1 times 2 you get 2, 1 times negative x you get negative x, then 1 times 2 we said it's 2. Alright, so this is what you are going to get. Uh, I'm just trying to simplify this expression. So this is your f of x. So your f of x is basically equal to negative x squared uh, plus x plus 2 so what you do here again you need to to, to ask this to complete the square of this for you to know the minimum or the maximum and then uh, another simplest way in which you can find the minimum and the maximum without completing the square of this just find f of oh sorry we know to say at minimum or at minimum or maximum the value of uh, the value of x is just equal to negative b over 2a so negative b over 2a is the value of x at minimum or at maximum so what is our negative b there our negative b will be negative 1 over my 2a will be 2 times negative 1 there 2 times negative 1, you simply get negative 2. So meaning at mis maximum or minimum, my my value of x will just be equal to, yeah, the value of x at maximum or minimum will be equal to half. How do I know whether it's maximum or it's minimum? Look at the coefficient of uh, x squared. The coefficient of x squared there is negative 1, meaning it has a maximum value. So this is the value of x at maximum value and then to find the value of y, so we're trying to find the turning point. 
so to find the value of y find the value of y at maximum or at minimum you will simply do as this find f of this same half of course our y intercept is just these two so we find f of uh, half we're going to have we we'll put half where there's x we're going to have negative one over four plus one over two plus two so when you calculate this you discover that your solution will be so basically this is how the graph will come out yeah so this is how it comes out the rest of the questions are simple so the rest of the questions are simple you can do them and then when you do them you can send me on whatsapp i'm going to so i'm going to tell you to say it's correct or wrong so the reason why it has bounced to to go back instead of going straight like this is because the the function is in absolute value symbols um, if it was just the way it is without if it's just the way it is inside without absolute value symbols to, to have come out like this but since it's in absolute value symbols it is it implies that whenever you put any value of x there the answer that you are going to get will always be a positive answer and not a negative meaning instead of going to the negatives to start going back to the positives so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom